So normally, if I come out here and I see a goat like this, I just fed everyone up at the barn. She's not interested in food. She's back here. If you look at her sides, they're very sunken. She's got a gap. She's draining. And her udder is a lot bigger than it was yesterday. So those are all the signs that she's going to go have kids today. So we're going to be watching her closely today. Hopefully we can catch a birth on video. Man, I went inside for like 20 minutes to get my dog fed. And she popped him out. So we'll just wait and see if she has another one. I'm glad she went into the shelter. The wind is a little chilly today. Uh, but not too bad of a day as far as temperature goes. Man, how are you so muddy? Look at your pops out. Oh, I see. Looks like she plopped him right there. Somehow got him in here. Which is good. <laughs> That's another strong contraction right there. So I have a couple timid mamas. Astrid's one. Uh, Fiona is the other. And I have to be careful. Alright. She was just barely on, on one of the legs. And now he's kind of pinned back there, so I'm sure he might... I've learned a lot since this whole goat birthing, you know, it's a learning curve. And uh, I don't have a physical mentor. I have mentors online, so they can't come assist me when I need help. But I know the rule of 30s, um, something I learned over the time, is 30 minutes after hard pushing, there should be a baby. And if there isn't, you need to go investigate why. So she just was pushing. I think I saw a bubble, but I think her contraction stopped. So <clears throat> we'll give her 30 minutes. And uh, if no kid presents, obviously, we will go in and make sure that they're in the birth canal position correctly. Uh, usually with your usually with your multiples, the next one or next few can be positioned weirdly. Usually the first one's okay, but um, I haven't had to assist this year at all with any kiddings. They've all just plopped them out. So, mama's licking that baby. I'll just sit here and maybe I'll go get a bucket to sit on so I'm not too far into her bubble. This one's a cute one. He's got a little brown tail. He or she, I haven't checked yet. <clears throat> She's doing better. Her first year, she was She's a, she's a decent mom. She's not as good as Lagatha and Freya. They are phenomenal. But Astrid was more timid, so she has the kid. And she's willing to lick it, but she's afraid to let it nurse. So, <clears throat> because of that, I don't want to intervene too much, because I know she's a little bit more timid about the babies. And her sister Fiona, from the next year, she kidded this year, uh, yesterday. And we did, we're still, we're still in the process of trying to get her to accept those kids. So we'll see how that fares. But. Yeah, she's not as, like, she's just a way more timid mother. She does good. She's licking them off. She's letting them try to nurse. But last year we had to convince her that the kid nursing was okay. Whereas Fiona, I don't think licked off her kids. I actually think Lucy may have. Yeah. 
Man, you are so cute. Good job, Mama. Good job, Astrid. Good job. I kind of hope that one's a girl. Not that I'm planning on keeping any more this year. But it's okay if it's a boy. <laughs> then I won't be tempted. I actually think. Oh, dang. It might be a girl. Yeah, that's right. Get them all cleaned off. Yeah, I went into, after I fed these guys, I went inside and uh, hurry and fed my dog because he has to have medicine right now um, for his heart. And so I needed to make sure that got taken care of. That's something that's time sensitive because he needs those meds twice a day. And then I grabbed a little snack and thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll like... Of 20 to 30 minutes and then I came back out and she already had this one but yeah I think she birthed him there and then got him moved in here which is actually super awesome of her and we put this little pallet on the side of this little shelter just for some privacy she seems to like that Taking a little break. There is some hay in here. We had hay spread out for the mamas. So if they needed a little snack while they're kidding. They don't have to go up to the feeder. And she only had one last year. So... squish him. Gotta be hard having kids with other kids. He's been a little timid, so I don't want to mess with them too early. So you have to know your goat, know when you can intervene and when you can't. Look at that baby. Literally minutes old. And already up walking around. I know the straw is a little slippery, but it makes a good insulator. And then at least I don't have to be in the mud. I think she just figured it out 
Yep. Barely saw her. Had the had the nipple. Uh-oh, I think another contraction's coming though. Mom's like, uh oh. Getting uncomfortable. Hi, little cutie. And we have our ever vigilant, ever watchful coyote patrol. Just sitting and waiting. Waiting for the babies. Hi, cutie. He's the best. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is a little girl. Her girl track record so far is pretty good. Oh, she's beautiful. Another contraction, Mama? Okay, I see a head. Another one. It's in a it's in an awkward corner. I can't really reach. She's getting it. Give her a couple seconds here. There you go. Okay. Stand up, honey. Stand up, honey. All right, to me, that one looked small enough. She probably has another one. But, you know, the rule of 30. That one took her about 15, maybe 20 minutes from the time that first hard contraction. So we'll wait another 30 minutes from this time and see if she's going to have some more contractions. Man, that newborn is already trying to walk. I just wanted to add, I love that little white spot on um, Astrid's chin and jaw. It's like a horse blaze, but on her chin. She did very good this year. I'm super proud of her.
Last year, her baby was so big, there was no way she could push it out on her own. So I had to get around it, get them hooves and face out so she could get her out. Oh man, here comes another. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm glad they're in the shelter. There's at least a, a little bit of a wind break in here. Yeah, the second baby is like, hey, pay attention to me. That's how they get the mother's attention. Like, here I am, here I am. Notice as soon as she starts licking him, he quiets down. <laughs> and I can see from here that that second one is a boy. <laughs> People always tell me that the boys are the whiners. I haven't really known that to be true, but I just think it's funny. Oh. I gotta go get that little girl out from under her. She wasn't. Here. That one's the biggest one so far. And it's a boy. I saw it. So the yellowing. There he is. The yellowing can mean stress or just defecation while they were in the sack. Do you have another one? Oh man. Are you gonna give Freya a run for her money?
you know, normally the bigger kid can come first. But in this case, the bigger kid is the third one. Good job, Mama. Good job. From going from one last year to three, potentially four, we're not safe until we see that placenta. Look at that boy. He's already trying to find to nurse. All of her kids are more decorated. Not just like solid reds. Not the typical boar color. She's not the typical boar color either though. I don't know what you call her, but I like to call it like she's wearing a cardigan. She's got this little shoulder patch. I'll give it to Astrid. She's a very thick doe. Yeah, look at those guys. All right, Astrid, we gotta get this. We gotta get this boy out. Get him dry. All right, took the camera off the tripod, so I'm holding it, so hopefully this one doesn't need assistance or we will not be filming. Just had a couple contractions. Oh, that's another kid. Is that cold? Okay, let's get let's get this last baby out and get a heat lamp set up for you guys. Remember, shivering is a good thing. She's keeping him or he's keeping himself warm. But we'll get a heat lamp in here. I just want to make sure that she doesn't need any assistance before I run away and do other things. <laughs> that was dramatic. That was dramatic. Yeah, she got she got another kid in there. Her last contraction I saw I believe I saw hooves. So yeah. We'll see. She got too many kids to keep track of. Notice how gently she's trying to step around these guys. I mean I know they they make mistakes and accidents can happen, but usually they try to be very tender-footed around their babies, if they're a good mom. 
It's been two minutes since she had that last contraction. I think here comes another one. But first, okay, let me get a hand on this. Uh, there we go. Look. Uh, sorry, one-handed filming. I didn't have it on the tripod. What do we got here? Another girl. That's a decent sized one. All right, uh, let's do a switcheroo here. Put this one in here. I know. That's a lot of babies, man. That's a lot of kids. Sorry about that, you guys. I thought I had hit record again after I accidentally stopped it. But, man, that is a lot of kids. Oh my gosh, please. Are you kidding me? looks very dark so I'm hoping this isn't a kid sack hoping this is placenta Astrid's giving Freya a run for her money so far they are tied for live birth right. she's going further into the goo I don't know why I only put a glove on one hand. It makes filming harder, so let me see if I can get this on the tripod. Well, as long as you don't stand up, you'll be in frame. All right, and since this video is going a little bit long, um, I'm going to just narrate the rest of what happened. So she did end up passing her placenta next. Um, she ate a portion of it, which is always good for her. Um, we got a heat lamp set up, got the babies completely dried off before the night set in. Um, I brought her her own alfalfa hay and brought her some molasses water to regain some of that energy. And yeah, she's doing really good with her four kids. I'm just continuously monitoring them and making sure that everyone's getting fed. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for coming along with us. I know this was a long one, but she did surprise us with these four kids. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video.